Welcome to the Sudoku Academy by Sudoku X. In this tutorial and beyond, you'll learn intermediate strategies that bridge the gap between easy and hard gameplay. In this tutorial, we will introduce you to an elimination technique called pointing pairs. Pointing pairs is a frequently used technique in solving Sudoku games. Its triple equivalent is less common. However, the elimination logic works in the same way. If within a block, all candidates of a certain number are confined to a single row or column following the basic Sudoku rules, that number cannot appear in the same row or column outside of that block. Consider the first row and block in the top left corner. The empty cells within the block that hold candidate number 6 are confined to the first row. As number 6 should appear once in the block, we can safely eliminate all other possible sixes from all cells outside the block within the same row. Since we are not yet able to place any numbers, let's continue analyzing the second column. In the middle left block, we can observe that candidate number one can only be placed in the second column. Applying the same elimination logic, all number one candidates outside the block in the same column can be eliminated. Turning to column 7, the same pointing pairs logic can be applied for number 6 in the middle right block. By eliminating number 6 in the top right block, we find that only a possible naked 4 remains in the highlighted cell. Let's place it and continue our game. This tutorial clearly shows that, in many cases, multiple elimination techniques need to be applied before one can continue, place numbers and solve a Sudoku game. Be sure to watch other videos for additional elimination techniques on your path to becoming a Sudoku master. Practice your skills with Sudoku X and master beyond beginner and easy gameplay.